Okay, this is uh, to show you how to input assignments correctly for standards-based report cards. First, when you're in standards, um, you are going to want to do a couple things with these assignments. So let me walk you through this. First, I'm going to go to the assignment tab for a class, and I'm going to hit the plus sign. So I'm going to make a new assignment, and I'm going to call this uh, historical writing. Okay. You still have to give it a category, and it's strongly suggested that you have categories based on your standards. So since this is a writing assignment, I'll go down to writing. You might also probably want to have an assignment bridge multiple categories, so keep that in mind as you go about. All right, this is the five point. Even though we're on five point, it didn't it doesn't automatically recognize it unless you tell it in your category creation. You can uh, put your dates in. You can still put in your descri uh, description. Okay, when you go to publish, you can publish scores immediately, or you can change it. That's up to you. Okay, but one of the things I want you to notice is on the assignment tab. If you uncheck include in final grade, that will limit assignments from showing up in the parent portal. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to go back to score sheet and I'm going to input some numbers just to give you an example. So 4, 3, and you'll notice that these numbers quickly become italicized. All right. And if you have no student, if the student didn't do it, you just leave it blank. Now, I'm going to hit save and these grades will not show. Okay, because what we're going to be recording is we're, we're using this to store the data. So the teachers will be able to use this for their own record keeping. In order to do standards based grades, you go to final grades and you're going to have to take a look at what you have. And these are the standards from my report card. They've been inputted already and I will be able to go through. These are the social comments. All right, And we have one comment field now. So that's the way it's going to look. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like. I will now show you what it looks like in the parent portal. Okay, so this is the look from the student element, the parent portal. And you can see that I have saved my grades. And for my language arts class, I have a dash. Alright, so when I open up this dash, students and teacher and parents and teachers would still be able to see work completion the problem is is that even though we're not using averages power school will still average it so we have to stress that this doesn't matter this is the number we're looking at so when I go back to the quick lookup for this student all right we're actually going to be focusing on the standards base standards grades so I'm going to go ahead and open that up and this will be what we see for language arts. Now, her standards haven't been updated yet, apparently, um, but that's what we're looking at. So, the standards will be come through here, and these numbers will go from your gradebook, and that's what parents and students will be looking at now. They will no longer be looking in the quick look up look up tab right here. Okay. So again, this is the only area if they want to see assignment completion. Um, grades should not show up here anymore. So if it is, it's because you didn't hide the assignments, and that's what we're going to be doing. Um, the, uh, also, at this time, if you have not taught a standard, you will be leaving it blank. The, I don't believe there's an NA option yet. Um, we are in discussions with PowerSchool to have that created, but that's where we stand now. Okay, I hope these videos help. Um, if you have questions, of course, come see me. Thank you.